In this video, I want to show you how you can install OTM 6.3 Oracle Transportation Management. Uh, this is the installation guide that you may want to use to install OTM. This can be downloaded from Oracle site. Here are all the things that you need to know of how to install the database and OTM itself. Pretty much everything. And you may want to start with the initial setup of the Oracle database. So these are, these are the initial parameters. We will gonna take this into consideration when we will gonna customize our database once it's installed. And this I will gonna show you later how you can do that. Okay, so uh, these are the parameters, uh, the link from where you can download the Oracle database software. Uh, I will gonna use the 11G. Uh, I already downloaded the software. You can do that from the site. We're gonna take you some time to do it. But once you do it, you have the setup file after you, of course, unzip the files. So let's get starting. Okay, I don't want to wish you receive any updates. Just click yes. We will gonna install install database software only on a single instance database. Okay, click next. Enterprise edition, click next. I will gonna uh, change the default folder C to to C uh, Oracle, C drive, okay, Oracle. Just click next. Okay, now we wait. This might gonna take some while. Okay, the finish button. Okay, and now we have to wait. Throughout the installation, I will gonna keep writing some things that uh, we need to we need to be careful about. I'm going to start with the data, database install. Yeah, okay, 11G. So I'm going to show you the, the, the link that you can find in the description of this video below. I mean, I'm going to try to keep everything um, into the description, okay? You need to be careful of some things when you set up because this, uh, this OTM can be tricky. So please note on the things that I'm, I'm going to show you on how to do it. I also want to state that uh, this is a fresh install of uh, Microsoft uh, Windows Server. Uh, I didn't have nothing else previously installed, so whatever I will gonna install from now on, you should do it. I mean, I have the uh, Chrome browser. I like it better than the Internet Explorer, but you can use Internet Explorer as well. Uh, other from that, I don't have nothing else. Yeah, maybe the maybe the screen recorder that I'm using now to to record this uh, this video also will be helpful for you to 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 use a, a log file to write everything down such as passwords or the name that you are giving to your to your uh, different uh, <laughs> software that you are that you are uh, using from now on in oracle I'm just noting here something that I need to 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 know up front. I already did this, so I know how to do it, and I know that it will gonna take some time. Around two and a half hours for me. And yeah, oh yeah, you have to have you have to have some 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 good processor, and maybe not that good, but you know mediums processor also you have to have at least eight gig gigs of ram yeah a gig of ram i'm using now eight i used to install um, otm on a, on a four giga and it it worked okay i mean yeah 
but if you if you use the installation guide you will gonna see the minimum requirements for Windows or Linux or whatever you're you're using. Now we wait. You can skip this part if you like to to the end of the video. Yeah, so we I have to change as I said I I have a fresh install installation of uh, Microsoft Web Server, so I have to change the machine name or to make sure that the machine name is set up properly, meaning that there's no special characters. I did that once and <laughs> didn't work so so well for me, but I've learned that lesson. Okay, so 95%, okay. Just a few more seconds and we're done. Okay, so 100%. Okay, great. So we can skip to the next part. Okay, thank you so much. Close.